It's not the fastest way to travel, but it works for Pierre Cloutier. He's four months into his dream of traveling cross-country by horse and wagon. My plan was to do the, the trip exactly like the cowboy did on the, or the farmers did on the, 200 years ago. That was my plan. The former truck driver quit his job and sold everything he had for this journey. He left Quebec on November 6, and he's now near Weyburn. My dad bought me my, my first horse at 12 years old. And uh, I always knew from there that I would someday traveling. You know, uh, I was, uh, that was a dream, kids' dreams. Cloutier is traveling alone, accompanied only by his dog, Eska, yeah, yeah, and his Belgian horses, Bobby and Kelly. Uh, I feel those horses, they tell me it, when they're thirsty and when they're tired, and I can feel those guys uh, li like if they were talking to me. The word is out. And now it seems everywhere Cloutier goes, farmers are rolling out the welcome mat. I was brought up the way most people were in, in Western Canada especially. If uh, somebody just drops into your place and you're eating, just throw more food on. If you have to go to the fridge, go to the fridge, go to the deep freeze, thaw it out, cook it up. So we're going to have to weld it a bit more. And it's not just a night's lodging. A local welder has even offered to repair Cloutier's wagon. Pierre Cloutier may be living a page from our past, but his wagon is very much 2015. Rear view mirrors, satellite radio, and four-way solar-powered lights. From here, Cloutier will head towards his final destination, the Okanagan Valley. There, he plans to follow his next dream, living on a ranch and starting his very own country band. Rochelle Robitaille, CTV News, near Weyburn.